Good morning, everyone. My name is Preston Lloyd, and uh, today I'm going to be reading a story called How Coyotes Don't Fight. And uh, apparently, it's from Cherokee Nation. It doesn't really say it was the author, it was an online source. But, yeah. <clears throat> Long ago, when man was new to the world, he enjoyed days filled with the warmth of spring, the ripening of blueberries, and the golden glow of autumn. However, as winter approached, when the darkness and cold fear gripped the hearts of the people, Coyote, usually indifferent to fire, heard the mournful songs of a human village laminating the losses suffered during the harsh winter. Driven by empathy, Coyote devised a plan to steal fire from the fire beings who guarded it atop a distant mountain. Observing their routines, Coyote realized they were most vulnerable during the earliest morning. When the dawn winds arose, he enlisted the help of his animal friends and they agreed that man deserved the warmth and brightness of fire. Coyote approached the mountain twice, each time cleverly disguising himself as a harmless coyote. Despite the suspicions of the fire beings, he managed to witness their protective, oh, protective measures around the fire, except during the earliest morning. In a collab with his animal allies, Coyote executed his plan during the dawn winds. He lunged from the bushes, snapped a glowing portion of the fire, and raced down the mountainside with the fire beings in pursuit. The stolen fire passed through the hands of squirrel, chipmunk, frog, and even wood leaving distinct markings on each. Despite the pursuit and the attempts by the fire beings to retrieve the fire, Wood refused to yield. In defeat, the beings returned to their mountain, leaving the people with the gift of fire. Coyote shared the secret of extracting fire from Wood with the grateful human village, teaching them the tricks of rubbing sticks together and spinning a sharpened stick. From that day on, had the means to stay, man had the means to stay warm and safe throughout the bitter cold of the winter, thanks to coyotes daring theft from the fire. Thank you.